In this demonstration, I'll show you three examples on how to find the derivative of a function when the base and exponent both contain a variable. Now this is not to be confused with a function that looks like this, where a is a number. Let's start with question number one. This is the most basic of these types of questions, and our goal is to find the derivative. The first thing that you must do in a situation like this is somehow bring this variable so that it is a product of the base. And the only way to do that is to use the rules of logs. One of which is this. If I were to ln a variable that looked like this, what would happen is that this x would travel to the bottom and it would become a product. So we have to use this technique for these types of questions. Let's start with that. Ln of y is equal to ln of x to the power of x. So in the next step, I'll leave the left side the way it is, and this x will come to the bottom, where it is now a product. The next thing I'll do is implicitly differentiate both sides. So I will differentiate this side and this side at the same time. d over dx, ln of y, and on the right side, d dx, x times ln x. Now, if you recall from one of our previous videos that the derivative of ln x is equal to 1 over x times the derivative of this, which is 1. So we'll do the same thing. On the left side, we'll end up with 1 over y. And instead of using dy over dx, I'll just use y prime. And on the right side, we will use the product rule here. And the product rule tells us the following. Find the derivative of g, multiply it to f, and then add the derivative of f to g. So in our case, this will be our f, and this will be our g. We'll start off by finding the derivative of ln x, which is easy, 1 over x. It's stated right here. And we'll multiply it by this x, and then we add the derivative of x, which is 1, conveniently, and ln x the way it is. The two x's will cancel out, leaving you with 1 plus ln x. And on the left side, we'll need to isolate for y prime, so we'll both divide each side by 1 over y. We'll cancel this, and on this side, you end up with 1 over y, y prime. Now if we rearrange this, you'll end up with y times 1 plus ln x, and on the left side, you'll have y prime. And remember, y is equal to x to the power of x. So therefore, your final answer is x to the power of x, bracket 1 plus ln x. So let's use the same technique, these steps, which are outlined right here, to answer question number 2. We'll start off by setting this equal to y. So y is equal to x squared plus 1 to the power of sine x. And the next step will be to ln both sides. Ln of y is equal to ln of x squared plus 1 to the power of sine x. And I'll use the log rules here. This will come down. Sine x times ln of x squared plus 1. And on the left side, we still have ln y. The next thing I'll do is I'll implicitly differentiate. Well, once again, I'm following these rules right here. So currently, we are at this step. And on this side, you end up with 1 over y, y prime. And on the right side, remember, this is a product. Okay, So we will use f prime plus f times g prime. So we'll start off by finding the derivative of sine x. This will be considered our f, and this will be considered our g. The derivative of sine x is cosine x. We'll leave that the way it is. Plus. Now we'll find the derivative of ln x squared plus 1. And that will be 1 over x squared plus 1 times the derivative of this part, which is equal to 2x. And we're going to leave sine x the way it is. The next step would be to, to divide both sides by 1 over 
y, which gives us y times cosine x ln x squared plus 1 plus, we're over here now, 2x times sine x over x squared plus 1. Now remember, this y is equal to all of this. So don't forget to replace that with that. And yes, it will get messy. And it does take time to write out. But it's a mandatory step. Let's proceed on to question number three. Once again, we'll set this equal to y. And we have y is equal to x to the power of 3 plus 1 all power to ln x. Start off by lawning both sides. And this ln x will then come here where we end up with ln y is equal to ln x times ln x to the power of 3 plus 1. Don't forget that this is a product so we will differentiate now implicitly where we end up with 1 over y, y prime. And we'll use the product rule once again like we did in, que in questions 1 and 2. We'll start off by finding the derivative of that, which is 1 over x, leaving that the way it is. And then we'll add this, ln x, to the derivative of that, which is 1 over x to the power of 3 plus 1. And the derivative of this is equal to 3x squared. So if we were to clean this up a little bit, we end up with 1 over y, y prime, ln x to the power of 3 plus 1 over x. And on the and on this part, 1 plus ln x times 3x squared over x cubed plus 1. We will now divide both sides by 1 over y, which will give us x, and I'm looking at this right here, x to the power of 3 plus 1 ln x, and then all of this written beside it. Because remember, this would have ended up being a y anyway. So if I write this all down again, I'll copy and paste it. I'm cheating. Paste right here. Fits perfectly. And there you have it. That is how to solve examples where the base and the exponent both contain a variable. If you found this tutorial helpful, Please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.